This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and today we are revisiting the OnGuard Mastiff Bicycle Chain Lock. Yesterday, in video number 680, I discussed and demonstrated what it takes to pick this lock open. If you're interested in seeing that, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So what we're going to do today is see if there's any other aspects to the design that can be exploited. Normally, that would involve me tearing all of this plastic gingerbread off of the lock, but fortunately for me, Bosnian Bill recently did a teardown of one of these where he stripped everything right down to the bare metal. And from that video, I identified this joint as a potential weak link. So let's pull that nylon sleeve back and see if we can get a closer look at it. Okay, we can see that the chain is attached to the lock with a pretty beefy roll pin, and that's inserted into a blind hole. What I mean by blind is that there is no hole on the other side from which that roll pin can be tapped out. Now normally, roll pins are made from hardened steel, so drilling is probably out, and even though this looks pretty weak, brute forcing the chain through the pin would be very, very difficult. Now, Blind pinning is a very common lock construction technique, and it's considered by most to be permanent. However, given the number of locks that I tear apart, I have developed a couple of approaches to removing them. These range from the most simple, in which I put a machine screw right down the center and use a slide hammer to pull it out, to the far extreme, in which I've used an auto body stud welder to weld a stud to the pin and use that to pull it out. Another approach to compromising this joint might be to use my open-ended nut splitter to spread this U-bracket apart, but I think that removing the pin is probably the path of least resistance here. So I have a few different approaches lined up, so let's head down to the garage and see if any of them are practical attacks. Okay, we're down in the garage and I'm going to start with the simplest of my roll pin removal techniques. I found a machine screw that seems to be just about the right size. I believe it's a 632 thread pitch. I'm going to put it through the attachment to my slide hammer and try to put it right down the center of the roll pin. Now, given that the roll pin is hardened and the screw is probably less so, the screw is going to deform quite a bit. However, that will create a lot of friction between the screw and the pin, and we're going to use that to pull it out. Okay, it seems like this screw might be a little bit on the large side because it's stripped out just a little bit in the beginning, but now it's not going in anymore. Let me try something just a little bit different. There we go, that one seems to be setting pretty well. Okay, I think that might be about as far down as it goes. Okay, let me put the slide hammer on here and see if we can pull that pin out. I felt like there was a lot of friction there, so I'm hopeful that this will work. Okay. can see that the pin is starting to come out, probably just a couple more hits. And there we go, we got it out just far enough that we could remove the chain, and any further, it would not have worked. You can see we stripped that screw out. However, that did work, and in, I don't know how long that took, probably one or two minutes, we were able to take this right apart. So. Given that one worked, I'm not going to try any of the other techniques. That's all I have for you today on this OnGuard Mastiff Bicycle Chain Lock. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. 
If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.